Welcome to the first episode of Operation Toy Rescue. Here we have a Star Trek The Next Generation Captain Jean-Luc Picard action figure that I found at Zia Records. This is originally from 1993 and it's been kept new in the box ever since then. He's been trapped in here, so we're going to get him out. Let's take a look at the packaging here for a minute though and see what we've, what we've got here. Uh, like I said, it was originally from Playmates, which they had the rights to Star Trek toys up until 2013. They lost them actually to Hasbro Toys in 2013. Uh, we have a list here of the stuff that the toy came with, which was pretty cool. It came with a phaser, uh, personal view screen, which was like that little thing that was on his desk, and then a uh, pad or personal access display device. It's a bit of a stretch. Uh, and then a Starfleet action base. So little stand and then it also comes with a exclusive skybox trading card which I guess I'll keep and put in the uh, weird card collection that I have for cards that come with stuff like this um, but yeah like I said from 1993 he's been trapped in there ever since that's a long time let's let's get him out All right. came apart pretty easy like we have the little little base that it came with that says the card on it. It looks like their little communicator devices that they had on their uniforms. Let's get that out. Okay, just gonna put that there. And let's get the card out. Oh, it's one of these nicely packaged. How's that feel? Free at last, Captain Picard. So, let's see. It actually does look like him. He's got a little holster there. Oh no! His arm came off! <laughs> Looks like that's actually made pretty cheaply. Looks like the plastic is kind of warped and stuff over time, so his joints aren't quite fitting very well together anymore. But uh, otherwise, yeah, it looks like him. Obviously, the toy hasn't aged well, even though it's been in packaging. But the attention to detail is pretty cool. He's got a little holster here for his uh, tricorder. Let's put him on the... Looks like he's got a hole in his feet, holes in his feet to go on the... There we go. All right, let's take a look at some of the accessories. So we've got the personal access display. It looks like it's got a schematic of the Enterprise on it, but that's pretty cool. And then let's get the card out of the way. The card's a little little warps too, but we should be able to straighten that out. I think if I put it under some heavy books for a few few days out in the living room, I should make it nice and flat. I just want to make sure I get keep this piece of tape out of the way. It really doesn't want to yeah, make this easy to get out of here without uh, bending the card up a lot. Let's do this. Corners of the card keep catching the. Uh... There we go. All right, so Captain Jean Luc Picard, Star Trek: The Next Generation, and it looks like it's just got a little bio of the character, species, human, assigned vessel. Captain of the USS Enterprise, NCC 1701D. So that's pretty cool. We'll put that with the rest of the collector's cards that I get from toys. Let's see what else we got here. See, this is cool. Toys were pretty cool back then. I, I was into Star Trek when I was a kid. I, I started watching The Next Generation when I was in sixth grade. I used to stay up late to watch it because it came on at 9 o'clock at night on the channel that it was syndicated on where I live. So this looks like his tricorder, which honestly this looks like looks like an old cell phone. 
which is kind of interesting. And then this is his personal access display unit, display device, pad, which is basically a tablet computer that they used in the show. And then we've got a phaser here, and it's got, it doesn't shoot very straight, but it's got like a phaser beam coming out of it. So let's put this... in the card's hand. How does he hold the phaser? Like that. There we go. Maybe blasting somebody with a phaser. So there it is. Captain Picard, the action figure from Playmates Toys from 1993 with his little stand and everything. Uh, I don't have a G.I. Joe for size comparison, one of the old 80s G.I. Joes, but what I do have is another Captain, Captain Power. <laughs> so Captain Power is about the size of a G.I. Joe, and uh, you can see Picard is, is quite a bit taller. He's the much bigger Captain out of the two. God, that'd be a cool crossover, wouldn't it? Captain Power and Star Trek The Next Generation. Power on. Make it so. Anyways, that would be that would be an interesting crossover. A lot smaller than the uh, trash bag bunch figure that I did an opening video of uh, a long time ago, actually, maybe even a few years ago at this point. But you can see that also on my channel. Um, a lot smaller than that guy, though. Anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, watching and enjoying me uh, rescue this toy from the confines of. Uh, retail packaging where he's been trapped since 1993. Uh, please subscribe, like this video if you enjoyed it, and uh, let me know if you have any comments. Thanks for watching.